Hi, just a quick second channel video to show you something on the EEV blog BM786, which is Bryman, of course. You can only get the 786 model from me, the EEV blog. Um, unlike, uh, I believe, all Bryman meters, please correct me if I'm wrong down below, but um, they w have used one time programmable microcontrollers. You can't upgrade the firmware in them, but the BM780 um, series is different. You can't actually upgrade the firmware. And this is my original one, which they sent me, the development version. If you hold down the uh, Delta key when you power it on, it'll show you the firmware number. There it is, 78601. I'm deliberately tilting the meter like this so you don't see the uh, programmer which I've got for this thing because you can actually reprogram it. And as anyone who's taken the, um, the battery cover off this would know, there's the three uh, AAA battery holders. It's got sort of a uniquely different um, system for uh, like... A uniquely different battery holder in the um, 780 uh, series. I'm growing quite fond of it. I thought, oh, I don't know, it's a bit weird at first, but anyway, um, yeah, it just slots in the back like that. And if you take it off, you can see that there's a header, header up there. Little, what is it? Six pin, is it? Little six pin header, and obviously, that is the programming port, as a lot of people. Well, it's obvious. It's a programming port. So, this actually does have a flash uh, reprogrammable microcontroller in it. And if you've seen um, Joe Smith's uh, videos, he's actually been, you know, playing around with these meters, actually reviewing them, um, including the 789. And he's, uh, Bryman have actually sent him a new microcontroller when they've upgraded the firmware and he's had to desolder it and put it back on. Now that's not actually, uh, you don't actually have to do that um, it, because you can actually reprogram it via this header, which is what I'm gonna try now. And I haven't done this before. So this is just an experiment to see if it works. Now, unfortunately, please do not ask. I am not going to tell you what the programmer is or what uh, fla what flash microcontroller is used inside this. I'm under NDA, sorry, as a dealer of this meter, I have access to the uh, programmer for this thing for obvious logistical uh, purposes. And uh, yeah, I cannot, I'm under NDA, I cannot tell you, I will not tell you what microcontroller is in this, nor show you the programmer, which is sitting on top of my camera at the moment. That's why I have to tilt it down like that. Otherwise you'll see it in the reflection of the screen. So what I'm going to do now, so this is version uh, 78601. This is the very first uh, like, you know, alpha production version. This is a pre-release version. So this is the pre-release meter that they sent me. Still good. I haven't noticed any difference whatsoever. Uh, the release version was version 5, so 78605. And I've currently got 78607 is the latest ones that I ship. And there's very little minor things you'd almost never certainly uh, notice in the firmware update. So it's not really a big deal. Just like the BM235, uh, for example, went through like five firmware revisions since I've been selling it, I think. And um, nobody notices. It's just like I just shipped the latest version, but that's not firmware updatable. Uses an OTP part, a one-time programmable part. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the, hang on, Excuse me, I gotta plug this in here. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure it goes correctly. And because it shares the battery compartment like that, it obviously needs to power it through there. You can see that it does actually power on. It's got the dash 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 in there, right? And if I actually press the button on the programmer, there's an information thing an information button. So I'm going to press that. Uh, and the program. Uh, and I press that and it has detected the chip and it actually rebooted the thing there. Anyway, so um, there's two ways to program this. One is to hook it up, the, the programmer up to the PC and do it that way. But I've actually programmed the firmware into the programmer itself so it can work standalone. So all I have to do is apparently is push the program button on the front. So 
Um, yeah, this actually powers the meter and it powers the meter in off. The meter is currently switched to off. So it powers it in the off position. And if I actually switch it on, yeah, the meter still seems to work. I, I haven't tried to operate it, but yeah, it's still, there you go, it still seems to work. But you switch it, I presume, you leave it in the off position and you've got dash, 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 like that. It's being programmed through the programming port. So here we go. I am going to program this sucker and let's see if we can, let's see what happens. I'm gonna push it. Here we go. Busy. It's erasing. It's a good sign. actually take a while programming sorry cables only short I can't put it further program okay okay check some da, 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 and we're back to there beauty what a Bobby Dazzler that seems to have worked so if I put my battery pack back in here and Switch it on by holding down the delta key. Ta da! 78607. It worked. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So there you go. It is possible uh, for dealers, only dealers, to upgrade the firmware in their meter. So please don't ask. Um, at this stage, I have absolutely no plans for offering a like a programming service if you want to return your meter or something like that. just the cost of returning it and everything else is just it's just and then reshipping and everything it's just silly um so yeah so this is for firmware updating only for logistical purposes obviously if you know there's some gross bug found and i've got stocks of hundreds of meters i can actually upgrade the firmware in them so there you go it does work Fantastic. Sorry, I can't give you any more details. Um, I'm just under NDA. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it does work. There you go. So that's cool. My meter is now upgraded. And by the way, you, um, uh, you do not have to recalibrate after upgrading the firmware. Unlike uh, Joe, unlike there's, they've advised um, Joe Smith um, that when they sent him the new chip, he it may be slightly out of calibration and the reason for that is because the microcontroller has a built-in uh, sigma delta converter in the main converters in there so obviously um when you when you actually calibrate the meter it's going to have little you know the calibration is going to include the analog to digital converter and the reference and everything else so if you change the micro the physical micro itself then yes your readings might be slightly out because of the uh uh, because the calibration is obviously going to take into account any um, errors in the analog to digital uh, converter. So, yeah, if you change the chip, obviously, yeah, it might be slightly out. But if you just upgrade the firmware, I am told that, uh, no, you don't have to recalibrate them. So there you go. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Does work. It's possible. Catch you next time.